Yo, yo, what it do, y'all? It's your boy Charles, aka Faith King, y'all. Good morning. Listen, I got a real important word for y'all, man. Um, I apologize for the noise, it was kind of loud. I got a really important word for y'all, man. Listen, um, you know, God's been giving me a lot of revelations and I can't hold them in no more. Like I said, I'm gonna start sending these videos out and I'm gonna start telling and showing you guys the things that the Lord is telling me, the revelations, everything that I can, everything that I'm allowed in the time period that I've been given to share. Some things may come now, some things may come later, but I'm gonna share them. So, you know, this morning God was saying that no matter what, the enemy always attacks the weaker vessel. Let me say that again for the fellas. The enemy always attacks the weaker vessel. Why say that for the fellas? Because, you know, because of Eve's history, right? We know that the woman is usually the weaker vessel, right? You know, the, it's easier to get under her skin. You know, physically, she's the, you know, she's not a warrior like, like that. You know, we're not sending them out to war, at least in the biblical time, they weren't sending them out to war and stuff like that. And they probably send them out to war now because a lot of these men is real feminine. But the reason why the enemy attacked the weaker vessel because you know her motion, the physical strength, the things like that, right? The man was built for battle, the man was built for combat, right? But like I said, the enemy always attacks the weaker vessels. The reason why I said that part for the fellas because sometimes the fellas, the fellas is the weaker vessel, right? The man can be the weaker vessel, right? This is why, this is why it's so important for both men and women that you be you be delivered from certain things before you jump into something new something different whatever it is right if you want to get married but you're still watching masturbation you're, you know you're still watching pornography you're still masturbating and things like that you're going to bring that spirit into your marriage and you're going to pervert your covenant with your wife you're going to try to use your wife like a freaking porn star and she's going to feel uncomfortable she's going to feel those spirits if she don't deal with that she's going to feel those spirits right ladies i know a lot of my ladies have been going through a, a phase where they be controlling or maybe they dealt with someone that controlled them so now they want to control you so that they never lose control you have to be delivered from that control, that Jezebel, whatever it is, because you're going to bring it into your next thing. It could be a job. It always got to be a dating or something like that. It could be a job. If you if you, if you you struggle with lust and you go into your job and it's a good job, you're about to make some good money, but you over here trying to hit the intern and you're trying to hit the boss and the manager and all that, you're going to pervert that opportunity that God gave it to you. That God gave it to you. A lot of us be praying, oh Lord, I want a new job. Oh Lord, I want a new person in my life. You have not been delivered from your sins of old. If God, and God will give it to you. Yes, God will, because God is a God that loves us. God can give you that thing just so he can show you, you ain't ready. You not ready for that. So I say this to say, get delivered from the things that you are struggling with take your time there is no rush the enemy will attack whoever is the weaker vessel in whatever it is it could be a friendship it could be like i said a job it could be a relationship it does not matter he is going to attack the weaker vessel if you're friends with someone and they and they struggle with like drug addiction right and y'all, maybe y'all used to be smoking buddies or whatever, but y'all both, you know, walking with the Lord now. The one that's struggling, he's going to put his foot on their throat. The one that's struggling, he's going to put the foot on the throat because they have not been 100% delivered from it. Guys, you have to be delivered from certain things, from, from all sin. Be delivered from all sin before you get into all things anything new be delivered from it if you know it face it don't wait because it's gonna come back and bite you in your behind uh. we are called to righteousness you must renew your mind do it stop wasting time do it the hour has come the lord is near thy kingdom come the time has come the lord is near i'm just telling y'all right now I, I, 
In Jesus' name I pray, amen.